Hello guys, I'm going to show you how to make a submit button work for a form in JavaScript. In order to get started, let's just open our VS Code and create an HTML file to just get started. All right, let's initialize our HTML file with dot .type. Oops. Well, I'm not getting out of complete for some reason. Back type HTML and HTML5 tag. Okay, perfect. Let's start adding layouts. Let's have a title of h1 tag uh, with the title of form submit. And then let's create our form. A form tag will be here. Let's add a label for name. The value will be name. And an input for name type will be text and the id will be something like name input let's add another label for password and the value will be password and of course an input for a password and the type will be password as well And let's give it an ID, something like password input. All right. We'll right click on the page and open with live server and wait a little bit. Okay, the port is active. Okay, as you can see, uh, our HTML file is on the local host. And uh, yeah, this is our form. Submission on a form means that the changes should be saved and uh, the page has to refresh. So how can we actually implement it in our JavaScript file? Let's add a button at the end of our form tag. Make sure it's inside the form tag unless it might not work. Okay, let's go to our browser, refresh the page, and here it is, the submit button. And if I just click on it, as you can see, the page refreshes. Okay, but most of the time, what we need out of a submit button for a form is more than just refreshing the page. So how can we actually customize this submission? Let's head toward our HTML file. And let's just give our button an ID, something like submit button, control S, and let's create our JavaScript file. I want to call it script.js. All right, let's create a const variable to bind our submit button inside our JavaScript file. So const submit button is equal to document get element by ID. And the ID would be the one that I need access to, which is the submit button. So how can I actually uh, make the submit button triggers some function. We have to add a listener to this button, but how can we do that? Dot, and what we need is an event listener. So type for add event listener. The first one, which is the event, would be click since it is a button. And the second one, which is a function, I'm going to use an arrow function here. This is how we use arrow functions. And the body would be something very simple and basic, something like an alert while submitting the form. Let's have an alert of form is submitted. Control S and before heading toward our browser, let's connect the script file to the, to the HTML file. Okay, let's go to the end of our body tag and add the script tag. Search will be the path of the JavaScript file. All right, control S and let's go to our browser and see how it works. Okay, and as you can see, when I click on the submit button, the page refreshes and the alert is displayed on the screen, which means the function is triggered while clicking on this button. There's also another way to trigger a function while submitting a button and it automatically triggers a function while submitting a form.
But let me just remove this submit button. We have to specify what function is going to be triggered while submitting the form. Let's just give it a name and then we will define it in our script file. The name will be something like submit function. Let's just define this function in our JavaScript file. Okay, we have to define it like this. Keyword function and the name of it and all right. As a body, I want to have another alert, something like the submit for the, the submit function works perfectly. Yeah. Okay. Well, I just forgot to add a submit button at the end of our form tag. Let's just have an input of type submit. The value of it will be submit as well. And control S, let's go to our browser. Refresh the page and all right. As you can see, when I click on the submit button, the form is submitted. And since on submit is submit function, I just defined, it will trigger that function.